Mama told me, Mama, all the time, time, time. God is good, Ooh. all the time. Yeah. Mama told me, Mama, all the time, time. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, our channel, Lighthouse Ministry channel. I'm so excited to be back. I can't believe I'm back. I missed you guys. I really, really did. Um, but I needed the hiatus. If you guys have known, I have been on a hiatus. I've been really trying to figure out what. <laughs> I've been really trying to figure out. <laughs> I've been really trying to figure out what God wanted to do with my life and what He wanted to do with this ministry. And I kind of want to share with you guys like why I kind of went on a hiatus. I know I kind of wrote a little bit on the Instagram, but like I really want to explain to you. So when I started this ministry, I heard clear from God about this ministry and where he wanted me to go with it and all of that stuff and then I got scared and then I ran away you know that Jonah big whale story I did children's ministry last week and we talked about Jonah and the whale <laughs> so this is why I'm whaling um but um no I like ran away then I came back and then I did it and then I got scared um really really scared while doing it and I started doing it in fear and kind of in pride, like being like, this isn't about Lighthouse Ministry, this is about Simi, 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 Simi. I don't know why I keep falling. <laughs> and so, um, I need to take a hiatus. Um, I also had a lot of things. When you start ministries, when you start doing what God asked you to do, you start getting attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked. And you're like, what? <laughs> I'm just trying to do what God asked me to do. Um, and so I felt attacked. I really felt like my spirit was being attacked. Um, and it was kind of good, like it was, it was learning. It was, I wouldn't say tests are good or like attacks are good, but I learned a lot. I learned that there was a lot of things I hadn't dealt with in my past, a lot of things I still had to deal with, a lot of people I had to forgive, a lot of myself that I had to forgive. Um, and so I've kind of been working through that. Um, I know I've talked to you guys a little bit about mental health, but I, um, struggled, struggle with, um, depression and anxiety. Um, Okay, it happens. Like um, Christians struggle to, black women struggle to, women struggle to, people struggle. Um, and mental health is a real thing. And like, um, I'm so excited um, that churches are starting to talk about it. People are starting to talk about it, um, and people are getting real help. So for me, I actually have a therapist. I know, like, what? Um, but I'm really open about it. Um, I try to be as open as possible about it because I really want people to understand that, like. Therapy should not be a stigma thing. Therapy is something that everyone needs kind of thing. Um, not even just if you're going through mental health stuff, but just kind of like to reevaluate some of the things that you're doing, the bad habits you have. We all have bad habits that we want to kick. Um, so therapy is dope. I love my therapist. I actually have a black Christian therapist. Say what? God answers prayers. Um, I really wanted a black Christian therapist, not because I don't think anyone else could there like help me in therapy, but because I just wanted to... When I looked at my therapist, I wanted her to look kind of like me and to kind of understand some of the struggles I go through as a black woman, black Christian woman. What can I say? We're living our best lives. Um, and so, yeah, I went to therapy um, and I've just been working through so many things and God's been so faithful. And I can't say I'm completely done or like completely healed or like I don't go through my ups and downs and ins and outs, but I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful to God, my family, my friends, people who have like really stood beside me and helped me through this whole process. So I'm back by popular demand from Jesus. <laughs> um, I'm back and doing this whole ministry thing. I'm really excited. Um, and like, I really don't want to walk in fear anymore. I'm really excited to just like engage with you guys, talk to you guys about real things, about Jesus, about, well, anything really. Anything that's on our heart, my heart, talk to you guys about. So, yeah, we're back from our hiatus. And so what does it mean when I, that I'm back? I mean, I'm going to still do some Bible studies. I'm going to still do some really cool things, tell you guys about the revelations God has given me. But we're just going to go with where God takes us. And I'm really excited because God's going to do what God's going to do with this channel. And I'm just going to be here every Monday just being an actual fool. Like, I actually feel like I'm showing you guys the real version of myself because I finally feel like the real version of myself. And I'm like a little weird, but hey, still cute. <laughs> um, and Jesus still loves me, so. But one of the things we are doing that is coming up, I will talk about it next Monday too, because it will be um, 
in two weeks, in, yeah, in two weeks, um, I want to do a Bible hangout with y'all. Um, it will be in mid-Toronto, so if you are like in Quebec, in the States, in London, like I can't really help you. I mean, you can get on a flight for, for this, but I want to do a Bible hangout. And you're probably wondering what a Bible hangout is. Why am I doing a Bible hangout and not a Bible study? Okay, so a Bible hangout is kind of the same as a Bible study, but like, listen. I don't care if you're Christian, not Christian, what denomination you go to, if you've been to church, yes, if we're in church today, aka Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or you haven't been to church for years, but you just want to get back into reading your Bible, you want to get back into connecting with God, talking to God, um, and you want a community to do that with, this is what a Bible hangout's all about. Like, there will be no judgment. This will be like a judgment-free zone. Like, if you're any community, LGBTQIA, if you are... I don't know anything like LGBTQIA is a huge one for me because I have a lot of friends in that community and I've always wanted to do something like this where they're just like hey listen Jesus loves you period um, but if you've ever felt like unwelcome by the church because listen I have I have I really have um, this is a space for you to just kind of like ask your questions kind of figure out who Jesus is like talk about the Bible like come back like come home like whatever like Whatever path you're on, if you're a theology major or you're just regular Joe off the street, like this, a yeah, Bible hangout is for you. The second great thing about a Bible hangout, at least a semi Bible hangout, is I'm Nigerian, like repping Ninja every day, which means in my culture we like to feed people, like all the people. Like if you enter my house, you must eat. Do you get me? Like if you enter my house, you must eat. If you're near my house, you must eat. If you haven't eaten for years, I must now feed you. So, so for me, a Bible hangout is nothing without good food. So my, my phrase for this Bible hangout is good vibes, good people, good food, Jesus. Want me to do it again? Good vibes, good people, good food, Jesus. <laughs> that, is, that is the vibe. That is the whole vibe of this whole thing. So if you would like to come, please let me know. I'm going to make a poster um, on Instagram so you can always like DM me on Instagram, tell me you want to come, put it, put it in the comments, um, text me. It's going to find the hangouts, but like this one specifically, if you're in the mid Toronto area next week and you want to come by, please do. I feel no pressure. You don't have to stay for the whole thing. You don't have to do anything, but it's going to be more details will come. So better be on our Instagram page to kind of figure out what the next details are. So, yeah, I can't leave you guys without a Bible verse. My lovely, trusty um, Bible with me. Thank Jesus, because, <laughs> you know. So, she'll be attending um, the Bible Hangout if you guys want to come. <laughs> I'm so weird, but I'm keeping this because I just want y'all to know how weird I am. Um, yeah. So, the verse I'm going to leave you guys with is actually one that God's been really placing on my heart. Um, definitely because I do not learn know how to rest, aka why I had to take a whole hiatus to learn how to rest. So um, I'm just going to share this verse with you. It's Matthew 11, 28, and it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, if you are, you know, a... Uh, Born in the church, like my parents go to church, my grandparents go to church, you've heard this verse before. I've heard it a million times. But the part that really resonated with me is the take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Um, and the learning part that we'll get from Jesus, because Jesus is talking to his people, is the for I am gentle and humble in heart and you'll find rest for your souls. Um, <laughs> Y'all have watched my videos, or well, this is your first one, if you have watched this one, you'll know that I'm not the most gentle in like human terms, but like I'm really learning how to be gentle with myself, um, be humble in heart, like be humble um, about the things God has given me, but also about like my limitations, like just be humble about that, um, and taking rest, taking rest, like, okay, well I took a whole hiatus, like I said before, because I needed to learn how to rest. So I'm really encouraging you guys this week to rest you know rest up for this bible hangout um, no but like just rest um and rest and be excited about the season that we're going into um because i'm excited so as i always say and i know you missed it 
I want you guys to know that I am thinking about you, loving on you, and praying for you. I'm praying that God will lead you this week, that he will give you the strength to go through it, that every single word that he has spoken over you will never come back to him for it, and through those words, seeds will be planted of righteousness, and that, um, that you'll come. That you'll, that you'll come to know him and come to have a personal relationship with him because he really does love you. Amen? Amen. Anyways, guys, I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.